multimillionaire drives past working class Americans and flips them the bird for expressing their political views. I mean, that's the headline that you could read, or you could just say, Cardinals DeAndre Hopkins seemingly gives the bird to Trump supporters, and I turn. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, he's uh, allegedly an American citizen, and I mean allegedly because I think there's a lot of people in this country that maybe they're legally American citizens, but in spirit, they ain't. They ain't Americans. I'm not sure this guy is. I don't know. I don't know how much he understands the Bill of Rights or how much he believes in them or how much he would willingly submit to them. I don't know. But generally speaking, this this doesn't necessarily say he's not an American. He may uh, very well. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe he loves the Bill of Rights so much he wants to challenge the... The, the the very people who claim to love the Bill of Rights, the Trump supporters themselves. And I don't know that uh, anybody has any problem with him flipping people off in and of itself for their political views. I don't care. I don't care at all. But it it just goes to show it 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 it, it to me, DeAndre Hopkins, man who he he's he's a Stella he has athlete privilege which is by far and away more advantageous than what you call white privilege is which is basically dialectical white supremacism by the way white privilege it teaches that white people are all powerful i mean they may be all evil but they are all powerful uh nonetheless white privilege is white people are all powerful it's white supremacism in which the white person gets to play the role of the villain and the hero the the vil the the, the angel and the demon and everybody else in America is kind of a, a role player in the in in the in the in the in the struggle it with the right way the white race is struggling with its own supremacism I mean that's what that's the conclusion I come to with American SJW and that's I don't know if DeAndre Hopkins is in that camp, but I have a feeling that he thinks that he's a Black Lives Matter BLM kind of guy. I know that he's big on the uh, kneeling during the flag, a bunch of uh, millionaires performing a sport, which performing a service, which, uh, which I will say mostly emerged because the working class people valued the service. Working class people from across political and religious and other divides he has decided to use his incredible athlete privilege, which far exceeds anything that white privilege could ever exceed. He has decided to use his considerable athlete privilege advantage to pimp his political agenda in, in while he is performing a service for the general public. It's like walking into Walmart and having all of your Walmart employees flip you the bird because you're voting for President Trump. That's what he's done here. It's like he is a public service employee in essence, not a public like government. I mean, public services and he provides a service to the general public, a high profile position at that, a highly public profile position with a platform it creates a platform for you. Your athleticism creates a platform for you, and we don't really want athletes using their platforms, especially during games, to pimp their political ideologies. It's it's uh, it's unfair, and and we don't want to give people power that kind of uh, athlete power if they're going to use it to such ends. I'm not talking about him flipping off the bird. I'm talking about the the serial kneeling during the flag. These rich millionaires spitting in the faces of their of their own customers over and over and over and over and over while driving their their luxury vehicles and their three, four, however fucking many matches they have, they are going to shit down on working class people. Working class people, and we all know the difference between the working class and the people who who got the magic ticket. The magic ticket that allows them to concentrate most of their efforts 
on enhancing their position, not merely sustaining it. For us working class people, we overwhelmingly spend the vast majority of our time trying to sustain the position that we have because we don't have gazillions of fucking padding dollars like DeAndre Hopkins does. We have to think much more existentially about the practical reality of laws, regulations, custom standards, all that shit. But when you're wealthy, you know when you have the magic ticket where the vast majority of your time is spent on enhancing your position because you're secure, totally fucking secure, when you're wealthy, yeah, you don't care so much about the consequences of laws and regulations and standards. And, you know, if the DNC CCP wants to pass hate crime laws, hate speech laws, gun control laws, you know if you're rich enough, you will get the fucking exemptions that you need. And I'm sure DeAndre Hopkins knows he's going to get the exemption that you meet. So I think DeAndre Hopkins is a poster child for the entire American SJW movement. It is a rich man's movement. It is a billionaire's movement intended to perpetuate the lie that the white race is the superior race. The white race, listen, I'm white. I'm here to tell you, I have had many friends, family members, and friends of multiple races. And what I can tell you is I haven't found anything in my personal life that would convince me that there's such a thing as race supremacism at all. There's no fucking race that's supreme, and, and certainly not the white race. But the American SJW is perpetuating the lie that the white race is the superior race. And they're making it even, they're worse than the KKK. The KKK held up the white race as some sort of noble, perfect beast that strode the universe for good. The SJW man goes way beyond makes the human the, the white person far more powerful the white race far more powerful because now the white race is the number one inventor and perpetuator of evil but it has within its its evil it has this small number of of totally noble self-sacrificing white allies the angels who will protect everybody else and all of the conversations that you sjws in america have are all about whiteness, about white people. You're obsessed with white people because you think they're superior. You're racist. You're, you're KKK 2.0. You're advanced KKK. And DeAndre Hopkins, you are on the side of the advanced KKK. And I'm not taking the side of the, D the RNC. They got their own issues. But uh, in this case, DeAndre, you're a racist. You hate your own race. And uh, you're also uh, a classist. You, you hate your own people that you came from. And your people are my people. We are the working class. You came from the working class. You came from the people that didn't get the magic fucking tickets. The people who have to struggle just to sustain. You came from them and you turned your back on them. Just like the DNC turned its back on the poor. And it turned all of its attention and focus to what moral supremacisms can we apply that would allow our billionaire pay paymasters to keep control of the population as technology rises, which keeps interfering with our ability to control the masses because now the masses have technologies that small groups of people can compete against large groups of people. And it's just unfair. It's just unfair. DeAndre Hopkins, he thinks it's unfair. It's unfair that these working class people have the balls, have the temerity to show up and support someone that they are supporting for a political fucking office. Flip them the fucking bird, DeAndre. Go ahead and do that, you piece of shit. I mean, I don't care that you flipped them the bird per se, but uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you for providing yet another symbol of, of the absolute depravity of what American SJW has become as it has, has over and over gotten closer and closer to the DNC. As SJW and DNC became one, SJW converted to, to, a, to a movement focused on the, on, on, on the disaffected, the disenfranchised, as they say, and it focused on 
controlling the morality of all. So now everyone is guilty, including trans, including black. All of you are guilty. The sin, the sin is not agreeing with the priest king. And DeAndre Hopkins, he says, that's a good thing. Priest kingism is good. Bill of Rights bad while he plays for a, 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 a league called the National Football League that dares have an American, American colors to it because it shouldn't. It should be red. Red and yellow. It's red and yellow. It's communista. It's Marxist. It's tanky Marxist. By the way, not all, com uh, not all communists are evil, but uh, tanky commies always are. <laughs> all tankies are evil. Well, they're evil if, if you're not on their side because they kill everyone. Their solution is to kill everyone. DeAndre, you're on the side of the homicidal, genocidal maniacs. Good luck to you. Bold move. Let's see how that works out for you. And, and by the way, just in the last, I just want to say to DeAndre Hopkins, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your Ferrari. Fuck your money. Fuck your career.